Hello guys, World War Z. Uh, cruise control uh, simplified. Uh, I know a lot of people struggles with that mission, and I'm going to be a medic. And I'm going to play with the bots in extreme mode. And this is the medic class that I use. I'm just really going to focus on on the, the main perks that, that that's vital for this mission, and that, that that's having the four stems. And then it will be. I'll take that. Where every special I kill 30 seconds, whether it's a lurker, bull, infector, screamer, gas bag, I, I get a stem when killing one of those uh, zombies every 30 seconds. If you watch the playthrough, I, I don't have to lift that many uh, stem refills. I, I really, I really don't need the half of them. I, I make my own stems. And then secret ingredient, uh, where you, when you stem you ma your mask for five seconds. There's more value than the, the medic's uh, mask and stem than there is a uh, fixer's mask and grenade. Uh, maybe not uh, team-wise, but when you play with randoms, mask and grenades never uh, mask teammates. Maybe in a good team co-op, uh, party communication, uh, a fixer can be really good then, but, but there's way more value than the, than the medic's uh, mask and stems. And then the other perk then is lobotomy. I, I run shotguns. Ignore the SMG. Restores two rounds in magazine for each headshot made with SMG. Ignore the SMG. It works with uh, almost all the guns. Uh, the only guns that I haven't seen it work with was some uh, some assault rifles. I haven't noticed it work with the, the ball pulp rifle. But I, I run shotgun and... Shotguns are so underrated in uh, the zombie game because uh, zombies uh, they sometimes come scattered uh, different lines of sights. A shotgun close quarters, that, that's all you want. And if you can get a headshot with a shotgun uh, and instantly reload the gun, if you're like shooting down from 12 down to 10, 8, uh, and then you get a headshot, it goes back up to 10, you get another headshot, it goes back up to max ammo again, uh, and it's not using any ammo out of the stock. You can shoot forever with shotguns with this perk. Shotguns and medics, uh, it's a marriage. Uh, it's it's an amazing combination. Yeah, but that, that's the three main perks. Lobotomy, uh, the mask and stem secret ingredient. I'll take that. Getting paid for killing specials. Yeah, if you want to see the rest of my other perks, well, it's efficiency. 25% chance of using the med kit without depleting your supply. I remember getting seven med kits in a row. I ignore the 25% chance. And run this here second one. Uh, that saved my life so many times. I've got pounced on with balls and lurkers. Uh, once I died, I popped back up. Uh, the, the ball and lurker gets stunned. I could stun, I could take it out, and I came back with a bar of health. That weak grass only gives you one, one extra hit from zombies. And start with, uh, if you're playing solo, the, the guns are everywhere. Uh, the four stems. Uh, the fast revive. I, 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 I love the fast revive. And apply med kits 50% faster. You can apply that med kit within 5 seconds. Uh, all you've got to do is stem 5 seconds. And you, you've got your med kit back in. And the other perk then I've got in the zone, when I stem I get a 50% firearm damage. Well I'll be stumming a lot with killing specials. I, I'll be killing like 20, 30 plus uh, specials and that, that's probably 15, 20 extra stems. And that, you think of the firearm damage boost that's happening all the time. Uh, th that's my perk build anyway and you watch the playthrough you'll, you'll, see, you'll see this lobotomy perk with a shotgun. Uh, not having to reload, shooting forever, uh, and then you'll you'll see me having stems for days with this. I'll take that. Oh, well, guys, World War Z, extreme difficulty on cruise control. Yeah, I'm going to make this video a tutorial because I know a lot of people struggles with this mission. Yeah, and I can make this uh, m mission really easy. Uh, this mission, a lot of people didn't understand it at the start when it came out, and it, no one really knew what to do. It was really tough. It, it, it took a lot of time to figure this mission out. 
Yeah, but the, 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 those missions, it's really not anywhere near the hardest. Yeah, I'm gonna show you where all the breaching charges or all the, the finds that you can help, help you make this uh, mission super easy. Uh, the cargo area, the, the start of this mission, uh, it's the hardest part. Yeah, and once you get past that cargo area, well, well it it's really gets easier and easier then as you go on. And you can find a med kit there if you're playing co-op, you're not medic. And uh, there's where you'll find your first breach and charge location. You can find some stums here as well on the, the couch. Rescue team four, moving into cargo deck. Thank you. We've got it from here. And there's another breach and charge location. Shotguns, uh, what I like for this mission. Yeah, shotgun with medic, it's uh, it's really OP. Uh, that perk lobotomy, you don't even have to reload. You, you can shoot forever. You're not wasting ammo. Uh, it's auto reload. You get a headshot, it reloads your gun. It, and for close quarters, uh, shotguns, the, the only gun that you want in this, against the zombies. I'll take the tier 2, but uh, there's really no difference between the tier 1 and the tier 2. Uh, they're a little bit more range with the tier 2. If you don't get that tier 2 shotgun, just run the tier 1, it'll really do the same thing. Uh, there's the third breach and charge location. has more ammo than the combat shotgun. Yeah, I would love to open that crate, but you really don't have the, the, the luxury of that time uh, on this mission. I've got one stun refill. I've passed this before w with no stun refills. And yeah, don't focus on that fire. If you don't get that fire, it's... It's not a, it's not the worst problem. You are in my world now. I see a The main thing is getting those screamers, and if you can, get a shot at the, the pyramid coming up. Once you get those two doors uh, closed, you want to get into this room here with your shotgun. Uh, this is th this is the easiest strategy. Yeah, 
Uh, shows cause me uh, trouble there. Uh, once you get these zombies on a line, uh, th this is no trouble. Uh, you can just sit here uh, and head glitch these guys. Uh, that, that's why I love shotguns. This is not a speed run. I really, when I play this many times, I stay out there and yeah, and I just kill the zombies out there. But but I'm trying to make this the, the easiest uh, tutorial that I can. And to me, the, 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 this is super easy. And when you come in this room, you want at least uh, two or three stems because sometimes you may get five or six uh, coming in the door. And they may all uh, sidestep and take different angles, and you just can't get the, you just can't kill them quick enough. So you want to stem, you want to clear out the room, uh, so that you can have this opportunity to head glitch like this. And if a gas bag comes on, well, uh, just stem and take them out with the headshot because you don't want gas in this room. The the best way. Uh, of getting them coming in single file like that is a stem out, out there, stem out there and just walk in here the, the zombies go to sleep when you stem that, that's why it's very quiet because the, all the zombies are kind of sleeping you see them sleep in there if you if you stem and come in here uh, things will be really peaceful Uh, the fourth uh, bridge and charge location uh, you'll find on here. Yeah, and I've searched four places now, uh, and there was no breach in charge. Uh, really unlucky if, if not to find a breach in charge in the first four locations. Uh, once you get th that was the hardest part of this mission. Uh, that cargo area. Uh, no, no, this is super easy, and you just gotta be patient. How the hell did he spread this fast? Government says they can turn in twelve seconds. Lurker neutralized. Uh, the bots are really useless. I can understand why people don't like the bots. Because you judge them on the cargo area. Uh, they're really terrible. They really die really quick. But you just watch the bots now. Uh, those bots are amazing. Those bots have got my back all the way.
Now you're, you're probably thinking, you know, why has it been so calm in the engine room? Uh, when you go in there with four players, and if someone alerts one zombie by not killing them instantly, uh, screamers come, it, balls come, uh, it gets hectic. Yeah, and here's another place where a lot of people will seem to die. You just kill the crazy zombies. I'm just going to kill these crazy zombies. And then go back to stealth mode. Once you kill the crazies, go back to stealth mode. There's a method in this game. You can really make this game really easy. I'm going to search on here because this is where I'll find a fifth breach and charge location. You see, uh, instantly killing zombies keeps things a lot calm. You see, there, I, I caught a, a second zombie. I had a second zombie without killing them. I had two zombies with one shot, and it, it alerts the zombies. We have no breach in charge in here anyway. Along this uh, right side, or left side, depending on what way you come in. If you're playing a solo, uh, lurkers spawn more frequent solo than they do co-op. It even caught me out that lurker there. I thought he'd never go down. This ship was a disaster waiting to happen. Every precaution was taken. Well, it appears that wasn't enough. No, it's going crazy again. I just don't panic. Kill, kill the crazies. I'm looking for that screamer, but I think the screamer's gone again. If you're running low on stems, you go up those stairs and ch check that catwalk. And same on the side, same with medkits. You, you, you sometimes will find medkits and stems.
a lot of people when they play this they like to do they, once it gets crazy they like to run use a mask and grenade run to the back of the ship uh, but with medic you can just do anything you want you could you could read uh, signs and shop windows if you want uh, when you're playing medic yeah I'm going here now to look for a, an all breaching charge uh, it's behind this uh, green and there it is uh, that's the sixth uh, breaching charge location Yeah, if you're watching this video and you say that, that, that that's a very long video, you see what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm really trying to make this uh, look as easy as possible. I'm really in no rush. Uh, here's an old breach and charge location. Look at this. Now, if you're playing this co-op, you just think of the many breach and charges you could carry out to the final fight in this. Here. What's the, uh, situation? The, 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 the best door to breach out here, it's this canister, the middle one. Uh, trust me, if you're playing this co-op, th this is the door you want to breach, because you're guaranteed two stun refills. Every time, two stun refills and a defense kit. Those upper 
Now I'm playing this uh, solo with the bots. I mean, the fence setups are different. If I'm playing co op, I like the, the voltage grid there. Because you can hop either side of that voltage grid. If the zombies are coming that way, well, you, you can hop to the side. Just scope out where the st where the stem refills us. I've got loads of stems. This is bad what I'm doing. I've you're playing this co-op, you don't want to waste that many stems. Uh, the other breach and charge location you'll find will be behind this canister, right there where I'm shooting. I like these automatic turrets uh, facing the back of the ship uh, so that when the swarm comes from behind you can hear the turret shooting, you, you know they're coming from behind. Uh, the, the characters tell you anyway that uh, rear flank zombies are coming but if you just happen not to hear that well The, the turrets are also an, uh, another guide that telling you that they're coming from behind. Another breach and charge location right there. Uh, there's one more breach and charge location. Neutralized. And here it is. Those screamers, they they gotta be killed ASAP. I don't know. Uh, there was three breach and charge locations out here. Uh, one in that room that I uh, said, and then I found one here behind this chair. Uh, one behind that canister is three, and one before a command where, where I couldn't left was four. And then uh, there, there were five other locations on the ship. Now, you, now you're guaranteed to get at least two or three breaching charges. 
if you're playing co-op I opened this uh, second because you, you always get defense kits on here. You'll always get two defense kits. But for me, co op, uh, stun refills is priority. And that's why I would breach that, that door over there first. See these green boxes? Don't open them green boxes if everyone's health's good. If if health's low, those green boxes will give you med kits. If you open them when health's good, all you're going to get is a double bar shotgun and a machine pistol, which nobody really wants. I, what do you see how, how fast and how easy we make this final fight? You just gotta watch uh, which side they're coming from. Looks like they're, they're pouring from the middle. Uh, over to the left. I'm just going to push these zombies and uh, make this as, as, as quick as possible. You hear Tatsu there say from the lower deck, rear flank. Uh, he's telling you the zombies are coming from behind. And I would say th th that's because of the screamer. It's why those zombies came from so many from behind. Whatever side the, the zombies come, you, ju you just want to get the work fast on, on the spawners coming over the fence. Uh, the bots will have your back. The, the faster you can put the, these zombies down, uh, the quicker this will be. I don't even think I'll need a stun refill. And you hear that soldier? We can use it. They're more coming. You heard that soldier? He opens this door. You'll find a med kit in here. Because health's low. Always a med kit of health's low. I think I'll go for the stationary turret. We 
And once I kill these zombies, that's good. That, that, that's it, passed. And we have one more, one more get there, assault. I'm not happy that's it. Uh, I don't I tried to do this tutorial last night and and I had four bots full health and uh, no not a bot took damage. It was even easier again. But the cargo area was even tougher because because I didn't even have a stun refill in the cargo area. But I had the chainsaw which compensated for no stuns on the cargo area. Patience is key in that, this game. When, we get there. when things get in hectic, just running to, to get out safely, that, 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 that doesn't work. You normally run into lurkers, when you do that, kill the crazies and get back into stealth mode. If there's a screamer, well stum, run past all the zombies, take out the, the screamer, get back to your team and kill the crazies. And then get back into stealth mode again, and just mosey through through the mission. Uh, scouting out all those breaching charges, real peaceful, by just killing the screamer and killing all the crazies. Once the crazies is gone, uh, the this mission really gets easy and. 